Question three from the 2019 National 5 SQA examination from Section 2. In 1971, the astronaut Alan Shepard hit a golf ball on the surface of the moon. He sneaked a golf ball and not exactly a golf stick, but a kind of pole that was used in the Apollo lunar module. Using your knowledge of physics, comment on the similarities and or differences between this event and hitting an identical ball on the surface of the Earth. So, three marks played for this. If we want to gain three marks, we have a good argument and good comparison of what's going on between hitting something on the Moon and hitting something on the Earth. So we start off with the Earth and the Moon, not drawn to scale. And the first thing we've got to notice is that the gravitational field strength of these bodies are different. We know the gravitational field strength of the planet Earth at its surface is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And we also know that on the Moon it's going to be a lot less because the Moon is a much smaller body and the gravitational field strength is going to be 1.7 newtons per kilogram. So therefore the acceleration of gravity downwards at the surface of the planets are respectively for the Earth, 9.8 metres per second every second, and for the Moon, 1.7 metres per second every second. Now, what's the other comparison we compare before we launch into a kind of simulation? Well, for a start, on the Moon, there is no atmosphere. And when there's no atmosphere in the Moon, you're going to have no drag, no air friction, therefore no drag on any moving objects. Remember, the force of friction acts backwards on something. It holds it back, holds the forward motion back. So on the Moon, you have no atmosphere, therefore you have no air friction, and therefore you're going to have no drag on moving objects. The Earth is different. The Earth has an atmosphere, and the Earth has uh, air drag or air friction present on moving bodies. And it's that big difference which you're going to, in fact, use to support your argument. Now, to support your argument, I'm going to take you to the wonderful PHET simulation site, which is can be found quite easily by just Googling PHET and looking at this here. And I've set up a, a kind of simulation of projectiles. Now, I can get the gravitational field strength of the moon. The best I can do is bring it down to about 5 metres per second every second. But let's see what happens when when we have no air resistance, first of all, and launch something on the Earth. Now, it's a golf ball, and its mass is about, what, 0 0.05 kilograms. So let's launch the, the golf ball with our initial speed of 20 meters per second at 45 degrees to the horizon. So we launch that golf ball just like uh, whacking it with a golf stick, and we get that famous pattern there. Now, let's change to a different planet. We can't change the scenery behind us, but we can take down the gravitational field strength down to its minimum, 5 metres per second. We'd love to get down to 1.7, but we're stuck at 5. And let's launch the golf ball again. Now, you can see the golf ball is going to go much higher and it's going to go a lot further. So that's one thing you can put into your argument then. When you have a reduction in the gravitational field strength, the golf ball is going to experience less gravitational force pulling it down. Therefore, it's going to go higher, and it's going to spend a lot more time in, the, in, the, in, in its movement, and it's going to travel further. So that's that situation there. Now here's a surprising one when we look at, uh, we go back up to the planet Earth, so we're back up to about 9.8. Uh, there we go, 9.8, oh, down to about 9, uh, a bit faster. Let's say 9.88, we'll go to 9.8 uh, roughly. And let's launch this time with some air resistance. So let's launch the golf ball with some air resistance, and there you go like that. Now let's take the air resistance away and launch the ball again. And you can see for the golf ball, there isn't much difference because the drag in a golf ball doesn't really affect it much. It's only if you're launching the golf ball into the teeth of a gale that you would get a change in the direction. So for all intents and purposes, the even though there's air friction and air drag present on the earth, it won't really affect that much if there's no air drag. The main thing we've got to uh, know about is the following. We have to know that when you reduce your gravity, 
the ball, so in a, a reduced gravity state, reduced gravity, reduced gravitational field, then the ball is going to go further. The ball will travel higher. It will travel higher. Spend longer in the air. Spend longer uh, in the air. And also, it's going to travel further. It's going to travel further. So there's the sort of kind of key things you're going to have there. And the other key thing is, well, when you're dealing with uh, atmosphere being present, the golf ball, because of its small size, won't be affected much by the air drag. So there won't be any big difference. That's unless there's not a wind blowing. And of course, on the moon, you won't get gales or wind moving. So we can just discard that. So that's enough information for you to put together your three marks and we'll leave with a little scene from the moon from Apollo 14, the first mission after the ill-fated uh, Apollo 13 mission where we hear the famous Alan Shepard talk about his golf practice on the moon. <laughs> 